This is Sawyer, and he loves tennis balls. Seriously, he'll chase them all day long. Well, most of the time. Sometimes he gets a little distracted. Squirrel! When he is focused, nothing beats a good tennis ball chase. So I yeah. thought, why not build him a custom tennis ball launcher to really keep him busy? <laughs> but I didn't want to stop at just any launcher. I wanted to dive into the physics behind it. What makes a tennis ball launch the farthest? How can we tweak the design to get the most speed and distance out of each shot? In this video, I'll be testing out different 3D printed wheels, each with different friction surfaces, sizes, and weights. The question is, which setup will send the ball the farthest? But first things first, I actually have to build the launcher. I 3D printed these custom mounts that clamp securely onto 3 fourths inch square tubing. The friction fit makes sure everything stays tight and in place. I'm using 16 gauge metal as the base for mounting the motors. This metal plate will be bolted to the 3D printed clamps, making a solid base for the motor to sit on. Here's the cut metal plate that will mount directly onto the 3D printed clamps. Next up, I'm lining up the holes in the metal sheet and the 3D printed clamps so I can drill through them and bolt everything together. Here's where I mount the DC motor onto the metal plate. This is one of two motors since the launcher will use two counter rotating wheels to launch the ball. Then I repeat the same process for the second motor on the opposite side of the launcher. To give the wheels better grip on the tennis balls, I've added rubber bands around the edges of the 3D printed wheels. This makes sure that the ball gets plenty of friction during the launch. The wheels are 3D printed, but they attach to the motor shafts using a metal hub. This hub is secured with M3 bolts, which lets me easily mount the wheels onto the motor and ensure a tight fit. To power everything, I'm using a 12 volt battery connected to two DC speed controllers. Each controller lets me adjust the speed of the motors individually, which will help me fine tune the launch. Now that the launcher is assembled, next up is testing. I'll take it out to the field to see how far I can launch tennis balls with different wheels and setups. Before I show the field tests, I want to talk about a little bit of the physics behind uh, each of the wheels and what I did to get the ball to launch the farthest. One key factor in launching a ball is moment of inertia, which is the resistance to changes in an object's rotation. The larger the wheel, the more inertia it has, not just because of weight, but also due to its size. A larger diameter wheel can store more energy as it spins. 
and that can help launch the ball with more speed. But there's a balance. Too much inertia and the motor struggles to spin the wheel fast enough. I tested different wheels, ranging from 4 inches to 8 inches in diameter. I also tried adding bolts to the rims to increase the inertia even more. The idea was that both the diameter of the wheel and its weight contribute to how much energy it can store. But here's the thing. My motors are only 67 watts, so they're not super powerful. When I added too much weight with the bolts, the launcher became unstable and I didn't get much extra distance. I even tried a really thick wheel, one that was about the diameter of a tennis ball, but it didn't make much difference. It was just easier to aim. And when it came to friction, I tested both rubber bands and grip tape. What I found was both worked about the same for gripping the ball and it didn't really affect the distance. So, with all that testing done, I narrowed it down to three wheels, the 4 inch, 6 inch, and 8 inch, without any added weight on the rims. To test these wheels and see which one launches the ball the farthest, I've set up the field with 10 meter markers using this measuring wheel to keep everything consistent. I'm launching five shots with each wheel, all at the exact same angle. I've got the four inch, six inch, and eight inch wheels to test. The camera is zoomed out to capture the full distance, which makes it tough to see exactly where the balls are launched and where they land. So I'll show a close up still shot highlighting the distance reached by each wheel size. Let's break down the results. Here are the meter markings. The 4 inch wheel averaged around 30 meters. The 8 inch wheel landed just shy of 35 meters. And the 6 inch wheel came out on top, hitting farther than the 40 meter mark consistently. And that's it. After all the testing, the 6 inch setup came out on top, launching the ball the farthest. My dog is definitely going to enjoy this. It's been a fun project from building the launcher to testing the physics behind it. Thanks for sticking around and watching the process.